Welcome to lesson 2.1 of our Payload CMS course. In this lesson, we will explore the fundamental concepts of collections and globals in Payload CMS. These are key features that help streamline content management for modern web applications. We will start by understanding what collections and globals are and how they fit into the overall architecture of Payload CMS. Then we'll dive into practical examples to see how to create them, customize their fields, and connect them to your front end applications. By the end of this lesson, you will be equipped to set up a structured content. Collections allow you to manage multiple entries of similar data types, like articles or products, by providing a structured way to handle various content pieces in your application. For example, you can create a collection for blog posts, each with its own title, content, author, and publish date fields. This ensures that all blog posts follow a consistent format and are easily accessible from the admin panel. Globals, on the other hand, are used to store single instance data that applies across your entire site or application. Think of globals as a way to manage settings that you want to use in multiple places without having to create separate entries for each occurrence. For instance, you might have a global for your site's title, logo, logo, footer content, or SEO settings. These are items that typically do not change often, but need to be accessible and consistent throughout your site. By leveraging collections and globals together, you can achieve a clean separation of content types and settings ensuring that your application remains organized and scalable. Collections handle your repeatable content, while globals store your overarching site. Let's go through the process of setting up a collection step by step. In your Payload app, you'll find a collections directory already created, which helps to keep your project organized from the start. Within this directory, you can define a new file for each collection. For instance, let's create a posts.ts file where we configure the, the fields for a blog post collection. After defining the post collection, you need to create an index.ts file within the collections directory. This file will serve as a central point to export all your collections, making it easier to manage them in your project. Once you've set up your collections, import them into your payload.ts config.ts file. This integration ensures that your configurations are recognized by Payload CMS. Finally, run your development server with the command pnpm dev and verify the setup by navigating to the admin panel. Here, you should see your newly created post. Payload CMS offers a variety of field types to model your content. Here, we add a title and content field to our post collection, creating a flexible and scalable content structure. Let's expand our post collection with more fields to cover different types of content. We'll add author, a relationship field to link each post to a user, published date, a date field to track when the post was published, featured image, an upload field to allow adding a main image for the post, tags, an array field to categorize posts with multiple tags. Globals are used to store single instance data that applies site-wide. These fields help ensure that important site-wide configurations, like your site title and description, remain consistent across all pages. Using globals makes it easier to update these settings from one central location. Globals are often used for settings that change infrequently, but need to be referenced in multiple places. For example, you can store contact, contact information, a support email address, or a set of default SEO settings within a global. This way, if you need to make a change to any of these values, you only need to update them in one place, saving time and reducing the risk of errors. Similar to collections, globals can have custom fields. 
Here, we add a site title and site description field to our site settings global. Now, let's look at some other common fields that you might want to add to your globals. Contact email, a text field to store a primary contact email for your site. Social media links, an array field to manage, manage links to your social media profiles. Maintenance mode, a check, checkbox field to toggle the site's maintenance mode. Default language, a select field to specify the site's default language. Theme settings, a group field to manage various theme options such as colors and fonts. These additional fields provide more flexibility and control over your site's configuration, making it easier to manage essential settings directly from the Payload Admin panel. After configuring collections and globals, start your development server by running the command pnpm dev in your terminal. Once the server is running, Open your browser and navigate to HTTP localhost 3000 slash admin to access the payload admin panel. Here, you'll be able to see your newly created collections and globals. The admin panel provides an intuitive interface for managing your content, making it easy to add, edit, and delete entries. You can also control permissions, customize your content views, and even manage your users directly from this panel. Let's take a moment to explore some key sections of the admin panel. In the sidebar, you'll find a list of your collections and globals. Clicking on a collection, such as posts, will open up a view showing all entries within that collection. From here, you can create new entries by clicking the Create New button. Similarly, if you click on a global, like Site Settings, you can manage site-wide configurations such as titles, logos, and other important details. The admin panel also includes helpful features like search functionality, filtering options, and customizable views to streamline your content management workflows. By familiarizing yourself with the admin panel, you'll be able to efficiently manage your site's content ensuring a smooth and organized user experience for both administrators and end users. This centralized content management approach saves time and reduces complexity, especially as your site grows and evolves. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this lesson. We explored how to create and manage collections for repeatable content types like blog posts, and we looked at setting up globals for managing site-wide settings. You also learned how to connect these configurations to the payload ad admin panel to simplify content management. In the next lesson, we'll build on this knowledge by diving into user authentication and access control. We'll explore how to create protected routes, manage user roles, and ensure secure content access within your payload CMS application. See you there.